identify, right? I think this is a pretty good heart. You guys saw the different structures and everything? Yeah. Okay, first let's start off with um, what side of the heart is this? Anterior. Anterior. Anterior, because we see the pulmonary trunk right there swooping towards the left. And then we also kind of see the anterior interventricular sulcus separating the ventricles. Um, and so then this side of the heart, we don't see the pulmonary trunk. What side is it? Posterior. Posterior side of the heart. Good. Okay, uh, let's identify a few structures. What is this? The left, oracle. left oracle. Left oracle. Good. That means that this is the right oracle. Right oracle. Good. All right. So let's identify a few other structures inside. Let's see. We have different layers of the heart. What layer is this? Epicardium. Epicardium, Epicardium. also known as the visceral pericardium. So you can use either or. Then this pinkish part right here is what? My layer. Myocardium. 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 Muscle Good. Layer. Mm -hmm. And then the innermost layer. Endocardium. Endocardium. Good. And this is just blood. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Uh, and then we have this septum. Like a nasal septum separates the two nostrils. This interventricular septum will separate what? Left and right ventricles. Left and right ventricles. So interventricular septum. All right. So sample question here. What layer is this? Myocardium. Good. Leaving it in the same spot. What structure is that? Interventricular, interventricular septum. Interventricular Good. And then we also see the chordae tendinae all these, think of it as like cords that attach to the papillary muscle, which look like fingers. Okay, and above the chordae tendinae, it's usually attached to a different valve, and we'll be able to identify what specific valve that is. Okay, um, what else? There were different muscle types. So in the atrium, which we can't really see here yet. Okay, so the atrium is here. What muscle type is in the atrium? Pectinate muscle. Pectinate muscle, good. And then what muscle type, besides the papillary muscle, resides in the ventricles? Trabeculae mm -hmm. carniae or the carniosata muscle? Because it looks like it. <laughs> Yum. Can we put that on the test? Carne asada? No. <laughs> okay, so we have the pectinate muscles, which are located in the atrium, and the trabeculae carniae, which are located in the ventricles. Pectinate in humans, pecs are in the upper part of our body. Trabeculae, I mean, that doesn't really go, but pectinate will always be in the upper portion of the heart. All right, now getting into the vessels and valves. Um, all right, so again, we're looking at the anterior. We think that this is the pulmonary trunk, but how are we going to be sure? So what you want to do is take the probe and pretend that this is the flow of blood through the heart. Okay, so the blood would be coming from the heart, shooting out into where? This is pulmonary trunk. Into the lungs. So it should go through the pulmonary arteries into the lungs, right? So if this is the pulmonary, oops, pulmonary trunk, where would the blood be coming from internally? From the right ventricle. Good. And is that true? <laughs> and yes, so right ventricle is where it came from. Do you guys see, remember, left has a thicker myocardium, right has a thinner myocardium, so we're looking at the right ventricle here. Do we just have a fatty wall right here? Because it's hard to tell. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you guys, did you split it? All? We did. Mm, well, we can take a look at that. It might be a fatty heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have, <laughs> so what chamber is this? Which ventricle? Um, right ventricle. Right ventricle. Right ventricle. Um, is that oxygenated or deoxygenated blood? Deoxygenated. Deoxygenated blood. Um, what vessel is this going through? If it's coming from here, from the right ventricle, shooting out. So it should be the pulmonary. So vessel. Oh, vessel. Pulmonary trunk or pulmonary arteries. Okay, and then what valve? Pulmonary semilunar valve. All right. So again, the pathway of blood. It comes in through the superior inferior vena cava, passively flows into the right atrium which would be up here, somewhere. Um, and then it goes down into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it goes out through the pulmonary semilunar valve, through the pulmonary trunk, to the pulmonary arteries. And it's a tricuspid valve, that's what happens. Yes, yes. And then into the lungs. All right, so let's, so we can do that in order. Let's try to find the uh, superior vena cava, and it looks like maybe this one is, okay, if this is the superior vena cava, where would this probe be going into? Right atrium. Right atrium. Right atrium. Uh, maybe what? that's not it. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. And... You can't see it because it's in there, um, but I would shave this off so that you do see it. It goes directly into the right atrium, right? And then if I push a little further, we should find it where? Right ventricle. In the right ventricle. But I wouldn't ask it like that because I don't like that one. The, if you see it in the right ventricle, it's more than likely the pulmonary trunk because it's coming from the right ventricle out through the pulmonary trunk. Okay. Now the next obvious one would be the aorta. Right. If this is the aorta, where would the probe be, or where would the blood be coming from here? Left left ventricle. Okay, so is it? And it is. All right, so it's coming from the left ventricle. Uh, so what chamber is this? Chamber? Left ventricle. <laughs> um, is this oxygenated or deoxygenated blood? Oxygenated. Oxygenated, good. Um, what vessel is this? Aorta, mm -hmm. because the blood is coming from the left ventricle, shooting out through that specific vessel, aorta. Now, what valve is it going through? Aortic semilunar valve. Aortic semilunar valve. Good. And on that side, we have the bicuspid valve. From the yes. Yes. So, for the semilunar valves, that's how I would ask it. But for the other valves. The tricuspid and bicuspid valves, you can really see them anyway. Right here, here's the bicuspid valve attached to the chordae tendinae, attached to the papillary muscles. So I could just put a pin right there, and we know that it's on the left side of the heart, so what valve is that? Bicuspid valve. Bicuspid valve, good. And then we have on the right side of the heart, you always want to look for the valves because they separate the atria from the ventricles. So if we slice away a little bit more, you'll be able to see it. 
can't really see it here. You want to do that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> uh, okay. So this one doesn't have a good representation of the right atrium. You did. You picked a good one. It's just the cuts are weird. Okay. No. no. All right, so um, the only other way that you would be able to tell is if you uh, find you the chordate tendon. Can see it on her part oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Can, can you what? toss it over? <laughs> <laughs> Thank Check you. It. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Thank you. What she was trying to find on the other thing. It's really, really prevalent. Oh, she's looking for the valve. Okay, so here. Um, so remember, we saw this one. What was that valve? Bicuspid. Bicuspid, all right, because it's on the left side of the heart. Now this is on the right side of the heart, so you can see the chordae tendinae that are attached to the papillary muscles, and you can actually see the flaps of the tricuspid valve. So I could ask you, what valve is that? Tricuspid. Tricuspid valve. Good. Um, Would you ask us for the fibers? Yeah. Is that something you can really pin? The Purkinje fibers? Yeah. Mm, I mean, we could. I The only question I could think of there is uh, what, what component of the intrinsic nodal system resides in the ventricles? Okay. Or resides here? And um, for like the chordae tendinae? Structures like what structure is this? Okay. What valve is this? So, do you want some simple questions right now? Again? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> All right. What side of the heart is this? Anterior. Okay. What side of the heart is this? Anterior. Nice. Um, what structure is that? Interventricular Good. Interventricular septum. What layer is that? Myocardium. 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 Now, what structure, let's go here. What structure is that? Papillary muscle. Papillary muscle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dang. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> on it. <laughs> what structure is that? It's the uh, node. Blue. Oh, is that the trabeculae carniae? Trabeculae carniae. Carniae sata. It could be structure, it could be muscle, um, it could be, what is that? So, <laughs> so be careful. Um, so, what structure is this? Tendinae. Good. What valve is that? Bicuspid. Bicuspid mm -hmm. or mitral. Mm -hmm. um, so we could also put left AV. Left AV works also. Uh, what structure is this? Left oracle. Left oracle. What structure is this? Right oracle. Right oracle. Okay, um, so from outside we can see. What vessel is that? Is 